Well, I had made a documentary with my wife and I really liked the experience. I had never done it before. And uh, I was started meeting people who made documentaries and one of the people were uh, Imagine. They said, what would you like to do? I said, how about the history of visual effects? I was interested in that, even though I didn't know much about it. And they said, well, what about ILM? And I said, oh, that's where I grew up. So that's how it started. And Imagine came in at that point, and they were fantastic. The whole production staff and the editors they introduced me to, they all turned out great. And what was important to me is I wanted to know where these geniuses came from. How did they all arrive at ILM? And how did generations of people follow them with the same passion? So uh, it was really important to me. I'm interested in creative endeavors and teamwork and inspiration and not giving up on problems. All those things are embodied in ILM. My vision and my approach were identical. They were, this is about the people. It's just about the people. And the technology will all be there. But uh, that's not what I'm going to make a show about. I'm going to make a show about the people. I have worked with them several times. I think I, if I worked with them today, I would do it a little differently. Because the show has shown me how much they can do that you don't have to think of. I, I thought it was my responsibility to think of a lot of this stuff, but I should have kept my mouth shut and said, here's the kind of thing I want. Will you solve it for me? Because that's what they're great at. Well, Imagine had an amazing staff of documentarians. They make a lot of documentaries. They brought on freelancers who they knew, and they all turned out to be fabulous. I, they introduced me to three editors I loved and it took three editors to cut these six hours. And um, so they were just the best possible source. Well, the people that originally worked there were very important to me. And so that's not just George Lucas who started the whole thing and created the need for it, but he found John Dykstra. Don, John Dykstra brought in a bunch of people that had never been in the movies or who had just started. And they clicked and they became a team that could do this. And then they, when they got stuck a little bit, they brought in people who could help create the systems that would make the work get done. So it was a very high tension play, time for George. And it was chaos being turned into something that works, you know. But in that chaos was absolute genius. Well, it took place all over, but. Um, I did it mostly at home. We were in the middle of the pandemic and my interview people were in studios all around the country or in Cameron was in New Zealand. Um, and I was able to interview them from this room that I'm in right now. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I hadn't thought about that. We had used so much archival stuff from Lucasfilm that no one has ever seen. It didn't occur to me that they, I don't think there's a lot of footage about this show. <laughs> 